Bag fuel, baby. You can't fuck around with your bread. You gotta, you gotta be disciplined with your money and shit, man. You gotta be. You gotta be at first, because once you build up, like I say, once you save up, once you get your first hundred racks, like you can kind of like breathe. I feel like. Mm. I feel like y'all yeah, be talking to me about five thousand dollars. He talking about his first. Well, I'm saying racks. like that's uh, what I'm trying to tell see, you. He's under the impression. So I'm trying to tell you that everyone in America has five thousand dollars. They do. They just yeah, spend it on bullshit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They do. <laughs> For being from Philly. I mean, if if you watch how much money people spend on drugs and shit, yeah, a lot of people do have money. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell <laughs> but you. They get the money spaced out, and it don't feel like they got it. Thank they, you. They don't let it yeah, but, but my, <laughs> here's where yo, when I came home from jail, bro, I had this little. I, I I had I had a crib I was on parole in, but then I had a crib I was like getting busy in, and I, you know, just a mattress on the floor, all smokers. You mm. know what I'm saying? I had my own lock on the door, and I was in there, and like I'd be going and getting little. Chicken tender and fries platters. I had a TV on the floor with football on. I'm in there smoking gas. You know, I'm not worried. About, you know what and, I'm and, hearing? And hold on, uh, sorry. I, it let me accumulate. I, I didn't go. give a fuck. I didn't care. My chick, seeing that it was like they mattress on the floor and little trap, little fucked up thing. But but they they seen the progression of it. You know what I'm saying? You got to be able to bears mm -hmm. hibernate. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes mm -hmm. you got to you can't really hibernate they, as a fucking artist for too go. long. But yeah, bear, you got to hibernate. Sometimes, so when you're out there, you got to stack. You're not always going to have, some of you kids might be in the streets trapping and you might have this one cutty that pulls up and you make like 1,700 every time off them. And mm -hmm. after like two, two, three months of that, you're like, damn, like my life is fucking easy. And then all of a sudden that dude don't call no more. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden you can't even go make $50 real quick. So like when you do have all them licks and that, that's how it translates to music, like North Face and all these other yeah, companies mm -hmm. and shit start hitting you up. And when they hit you mm -hmm. up, they all hit you at once. Mm -hmm. Everybody, it's like a fucking girlfriend. Yeah. Nobody wants to give you pussy. Until you got a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let me take you. As soon as you get a girlfriend, they're like, Yo, I got that fucking It's like you that been? with music too. It's like that with music too. It's mm. like that with everything. These kids get hot. And when they get hot, everybody wants to fuck with them. Yo. And they know that. And so then they get reclusive. You know what I'm saying? Because they're like, yo, I don't, mm. fuck, I don't just fuck with anybody. They start to look like assholes. Mm. And I watch the whole process. Yeah, yeah. They're really not assholes. They just don't want to fucking just, they're just scared They don't want to jump on a dolphin and but, find but, out but, they, but they're mad. But, but, this is what, but this is why you need to have people around you. Because this is the business. When you work hard for people to want to rock with you. Don't be mad because you put the work in and you finally got a hit single and now Timberland's calling, calling you and Puffy's calling you. Don't get mad at them. Embrace that's it. A, they've been waiting for you to get to the level for them to call you and that's why they're trying to bring you up. Yeah. Don't get reclusive. Go towards it. Yeah. But I want to go back. Go to the love, all right. To see, saying how you was locked in eating chicken tenders, right? No, and what I'm what I want to <laughs> like say like chicken tenders is a bad meal. No, 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 no. I think it's dope. But, I try it every day. But what I learned, I'm same thing. Chicken tenders. Your your vices don't overrun you. Nah, you not. You, so you're you're locked into hibernating. You're like, I don't care if I miss this party. I don't care. But in America, people are going through so much bullshit. They gotta go drop that hundred dollars at the bar. You like, just like huh? And I've been both. I've been both. I've been both. I've been felt like. Friday night, Saturday night came, and I'm like, yeah. damn, I don't got nothing to do. I'm, yeah. I'm going to go out and fucking get into something. But th that, that becomes addictive to people. Mm. And then all of a sudden, they can't have a weekend where they don't go spend a nickel to a stack, and they can't stack and get and over that And guess what they 50, can't do? Have that 5000 5, 5000 because as soon as you have 5000 you can make a move where you're going to turn that into 78. <laughs> just what I'm just, and, then as soon, <laughs> and if you can hibernate a little bit longer, all of a sudden... You know, you got 10 bands folded Damn. up in your closet. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. The majority of this country, their escapism after doing 40, 50 hours is those little two. But that's not what we talked about. You're, you're diverting. That is no, not. What I'm I'm talking talking now, now you're changing the narrative. I never, the, that that is not, not it doesn't matter what your vice uh, is. It doesn't matter. Yes, what it your, does. No, what, yo, you said they don't have it. They don't now, have it. No, now you're making an excuse. No. Okay. They, and, I, and I said this on the camera. I said they do have it. They're just spending it on what they want to spend it on. Mm -hmm. Now, and I said that. I said, how many people have $1,500 in their account and go spend $5,000 on Christmas? That's what they do. That means they have it. It doesn't, I don't, I don't care if you work a thousand joints a week. If you choose to go spend your money on the weekend, that's what you choose to do. Yeah. But you have the money. All I'm saying is, it's very simple. The people that can hibernate, and do that is way smaller in scale than the people that's. Oh well, yeah, you can't. It's hard to hibernate if you have yeah. a fucking heroin addiction. 
It's hard to and stack money. It's hard to hibernate. Think about in COVID. You're... People were losing their minds. I can't go outside. Uh, no one could go outside. That's a lie. So, yo, what? yo. People made the most money they ever made during COVID. That's because everybody, that's because, listen. He's talking, about dude, he's talking about dudes that wanted vagina. <laughs> This is all he's talking about. No, dudes, dudes that, that go outside. Dudes that, they Jesus going brother. outside because they were chasing vagina. So they had to get clothes. They had to do all Exactly. That. There was no reason to go buy clothes and, cha- and do all this in COVID, but they were still chasing vagina. They were going to the private strip club. Everybody knows it. Everybody mm-hmm. knows it. They were having a private party, spending their money. Mm-hmm. And, and, th- and those are the same people to come by and be like, I don't have $5,000. Yes, you because, do. No, because guess what? Everyone's inside. And they're like, I still got to be outside. Why? Enjoy the fact that we can all chill. I just look at it like this. Sometimes people are in a living situation and they don't enjoy where they're at. They need that escapism. I, yeah, it's it's, true. I think it's a special mental... I know people that don't save and, they, and they're and they like, yeah, well, I, that shit's not fun. Like, I just want to have fun. Like, <laughs> and you know what, though? Crazy. You know what, though? But you know what, though? <laughs> but hold up. But hold up, though. Some of them are happy, though. They are. Super happy. Which, yo, yo, yo. They be the happiest ones. They be happy. They be like, yeah, I don't know. I spend all my money and I struggle for a week or so. I might have to beg and pay back and all that. But you know what? I'm having a good time with my shit. Yeah, they're not. Yeah. That doesn't make me feel good. I hate bills. Okay, I I like to outright spend my money. Are you the minority or the majority? I'm the minority. (laughs) I out and out spend my money on, I pay off all my bills every month. Like, if, if, if a bill carries over, even if it's $400, I'll be like, yo, I ain't pay on my bill. Shit fucked up, <laughs> all right? So even when I went to go get my brand new car, I didn't have to put no money down. They let me go walk right off the lot with not a single dollar down, and that's what I do. I pay my bills monthly, period. And I, and I do that because I want to do what I want to do. I like to eat out. I, I like to travel. And most of all, I like to be comfortable. Being comfortable for me is the good time. Yeah, being comfortable is priceless. Yo, mm. it's, it's the good time. So while people running around trying to say, well, I'm spending this, I'm spending that, a lot of these people never get a chance. And this is something that my wife says. The reason why I'm different because I have had a chance to know what it feels like to actually be comfortable. In what sense? Financially, mm-hmm. mentally, emotionally, family, I've been comfortable. I've had more money at times than I've ever needed or wanted, right? I've had all types of women that I've ever wanted. I've always been given clothes and everything. I have had a chance to sit down. I've, I've sat down and said, damn, I got mad savings and I've gone. I just came back from a trip and I have nothing to pay for. I'm comfortable. I can go eat out every day if I want to, even to this day. I, I eat out every day. I think I think com- comfortability is relative to a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Just like OT just said, I can breathe at a honey K. No, well, like you, you, know, you know what when, I mean. When you once you got that type of bread, because that's you know it's, it's a, that's a not a lot, but when it, you, yeah. but if you sink it into something, chances are it's gonna grow more than you would need in that time period. So it will progress. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But most people don't think to sink it into nothing. No, they blow it. Less than a hundred grand. I mean, when you start to see people hit 50, 60 years old and not have nothing and and be out and be running around outside and shit, doing the shit you did when you were 17, you'd be like, damn, like, you think about me, like, I don't got no fucking, you know, pension coming or nothing like that. I've been Mm. in fucking the joint my whole life, Mm -hmm. in and out or on the run. So now I'm like, you know, and hats off to all those guys, though, who get up and work their ass off every day. But I, I didn't really, you know, that it was almost too late for me to get into some shit like that. Like, I, I had to buckle down. And that's why I say when you get your hands on some money, don't even act like you don't even got it. And put it into something. Mm-hmm. Just sink it somewhere because you sleep better at night. Mm-hmm. That's know, the comfortability. That's the comfortability. Sometimes, exactly. Like, <laughs> you, if I feel like if there's a, even if I'm just getting by with my daily routine, just, just enough to pay the bills and just getting by, Enough to move around still, enough to do what I got to do, but I got this, I don't put this chunk of money up over here. I never got to put no more into it ever again. It's, it, it is what it is. It's only going to roll down a hill and become a bigger snowball the whole time. Mm-hmm. I just got to stay alive out here mm-hmm. because that's getting, so everyone, oh, we're not living right now. Shh, hold on. Do you see how big the snowball is over here? <laughs> yes, <I> do. <laughs> so that's why I got, you know, right now for sale, right now, I got a piece of McDonald's parking lot for sale. I got a, I got like a um, 12 acre piece of um, 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 commercial land for sale. I got a gas station for sale. I got two houses for sale that I'm all partnered up on with mm-hmm. my LLC with other LLCs. 
And that started from fucking, uh, that started from putting 20 grand down. 